Hospital doctors and nurses always expect the unexpected. Let's see how they fix our first patient. In Liverpool, six-year-old Benjamin is in accident and emergency, and I think there might be something wrong with his hand. Trapped my finger in the door. Trapped your finger in the door? Yep, don't know why. I just had a hunch it was his hand. Bleeding. But how on earth did that happen? Benjamin was in the car, on his way to school with his mum. He was enjoying the ride. Whoa, what's this? It's a pretty cool ride to school. Well, I just thought I'd do something a bit different. But back to reality. As they pulled up at the school gate, Benjamin rushed to get out of the car. But as he slammed the car door shut, his hand was in the way and chopped his fingertip off. Ouch. I looked at it and I thought, he's cut the top. He's oh, cut the top of his finger off. So where's the end of that finger? I it found it. Oh, that's good. Stuck on the car. It was just sticked on the car. Ah, that's not so good. Meet plastic surgeon Dr. Charlotte Defty. If anyone can sort out that finger, she can. It's bleeding. Is it bleeding a little bit? Is that OK if I have a little look? I'm going to cut this dressing off. I'll keep away from your finger. You don't have to look again till it's mended. No. Oh, that looks sore, but luckily not too much is missing. Where it's come off is basically just where the nail grows from. We'll have to just smooth off the bone on the end and try and get the skin just to cover over the end. Yeah. Otherwise, you can end up with splinters of nail that stick out that can be a problem. So there's a chance Benjamin won't have a fingernail, but it's more important he has a fully working finger. In time, you'll just have a slightly shorter finger um, and you will be able to use it completely normally. It's at times like this when you need a comforting word from your dad. And that's going to be your nickname, Stumpy. Yeah, nice one, Dad. With the plans in place, we'll be back to find out how Benjamin's surgery goes later on. Having been examined by Dr Charlotte Defty, Benjamin gets gowned up and the surgical team prepare to operate. First things first, though, Benjamin's having a general anaesthetic to send him to sleep. Now, nobody's ever got to 20. Can you count and see if you can get to 20 for me? <gasps> One, two, three... A general anaesthetic is a combination of drugs which, when they enter your body, put you into a temporary state of unconsciousness, keep you still and reduce the body's normal reactions to pain. Twelve. Benjamin still counting, but will he make it to 20 before the anaesthetic kicks in? Sixty. I don't think so. But now he's fast asleep, Dr Charlotte can get started. Check out those specs. They might look weird, but they will magnify Benjamin's finger, making it look three and a half times bigger and easier for Dr. Charlotte to work on. Get ready for some fiddly finger work. First, Dr. Charlotte has to nibble away at the bone. Only when it's lower than the level of the flesh can the soft tissue be closed together. Then it's time for some stitches. Finger fixed and dressing on. The operation's all done. Everything went very smoothly. He'll be able to go home later today, as soon as he recovers from the general anaesthetic. Two hours later, Benjamin's awake, looking happy. And it's time for Dad to offer some more words of comfort. How's your finger now? Fine. You sure? Yeah. How do you know? Because it's not there. <laughs> yeah, you really do need to work on the TLC, Dad. Anyway, Dr Charlotte's here to check up on her patient and deliver some surprise news. He will have a name. Smash it! It'll just be a little bit shorter than it was before. Great result. He'll have a nail after all. And your fingertip will grow as well. It just won't quite be as big as the other fingertip on the other hand. Nice one, Doc. You've nailed it. Darned. <laughs>